Here's another story of the peasant and the king. The peasant is feeling unmotivated. He doesn't feel like doing anything today, even though he has a million things to do. One million. So, he doesn't. He does nothing. He lets his tasks pile up, and that makes him even more unmotivated. So the next day, he does the same. Nothing. And he continues to spiral further and further into his unmotivated state. And eventually, this causes him to give up on any endeavor that he doesn't have to do. So here comes the king. The king wakes up feeling very unmotivated as well. He decides to still give his daily tasks a shot. I can do that. He honestly doesn't do them quite as well as he normally does, work, but work. at least he makes some progress. He does this for a few days, weathering the storm, until one day he wakes up feeling more motivated than ever. He proceeds to crush his goals that day. Good morning, Apocalypseburg. Um, uh. And now he's that much closer to his dreams. Now you are one of the characters in this story, but which one? On this channel, I hope you understand that you are the king, and as such, it's time to kill the peasant mindset and be the king that you are. So, what do you do when you're feeling unmotivated? Well, the concept is simple. It's just three words, but executing the concept is a lot more nuanced and difficult. So we'll be diving into that and discussing it in a lot more detail. And so the only three words that you need to be living by in this scenario are just show up. Now that's easy to say, but sometimes really difficult to do. Take me for example. So last week, I was feeling so unmotivated. And that has a lot to do with the fact that I was actually just coming off vacation. And the weeks prior, I had been grinding pretty well and I had kind of gotten ahead of a lot of things and that kind of lulled me to sleep a little bit. And so towards my vacation coming up two weeks ago, I actually pulled my foot off the gas a little bit when I should have really been pressing in because I knew I was gonna be gone for a few days. And so coming back from this vacation, it was five days, it was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And yes, I'm counting the weekend because I do actually get a lot of work done on the weekends. And so this was five days of me basically doing nothing that I knew was coming. And I should have, first of all, gotten way ahead on this. I didn't do that. So now my work was kind of piling up. So this kind of created a negative headspace around me coming back. So Tuesday was a day that I was gonna catch up on everything. Woke up, didn't feel motivated to do it. Guys, I pretty much did nothing. Now I was back to my day job on Wednesday. I'm a software engineer, if you didn't know that. And so the work was piling up there too. And I was really hitting the grind and I was getting pretty stressed out and I had some catching up to do. And so I was really working hard on that, but everything else was just kind of slipping away. And on top of that, my calorie deficit was really high. Am I talking about my calorie deficit right now? You see, here are the excuses. This is what starts to happen when you're not feeling motivated. This is what you do not want to do. Don't start saying my calorie deficit's too high like I just did, or I'm so hungry, or whatever else. Just get the excuses out of the way. You have way more control in this situation than you think. But anyway, the point is that I just kept kind of not doing what I needed to do. I was missing workouts. I wasn't sitting in front of this camera filming videos for you guys. I wasn't filming my other content like TikTok, any of that kind of stuff. It's enough to make a grown man cry, but not this man. Get back in there, Tia. Yeah, I was working hard at Microsoft. But look, that stuff's kind of easy to do when you have somebody to answer to. But the things in my life that I really don't have external motivation for, I was letting them slip. I trained Krav Maga. I was missing all of my training sessions. I literally went once last week. I've been averaging five to six days a week, and I went one time. Come on, Logan, come on. This is actually a really good time to point out that this whole being a king thing, it's a journey. It's a lifetime commitment to bettering yourself, but it's not a lifetime commitment to perfection. That is something that you shouldn't expect from yourself, but you should expect yourself to realize when you're falling off 
and to get back on the horse. And this was me last week. The peasant mindset started to sneak in. Started to tell me it's okay to miss days and not show up to your work and it's absolutely not true. And so this week I decided I'm gonna take my own advice and I'm gonna conquer that mindset. So I started showing up to everything. I'm showing up to my workouts. I'm showing up to my day job, of course. I'm showing up to Krav Maga every single day now. I'm showing up to my cardio sessions. I'm showing up to my side businesses. I'm showing up to my filming sessions. I just made the commitment. I'm gonna show up to everything this week. And guess what happened? The motivation actually came back. And it came back rapidly. Once I started showing up and just realizing that, okay, I'm gonna start to progress in all these areas, I was reinvigorated with how amazing it feels to know you're progressing in your life. So now I'm back to absolutely crushing it and I feel more motivated than ever. I'm still on that same calorie deficit that I was when I was trying to make that excuse earlier, but now the mindset is a lot different. And so look, you will do this exact same thing. All you have to do is ride out the wave of not feeling motivated and conquer the peasant mindset by just showing up, commit to that. And soon you'll bust through that slump and you'll be happy that instead of having to use all this motivation that you have to recover, you will have at least kept a baseline and now you can use that motivation to explode in this moment. But the key is that you have to put it in your mind right now. So if you're in the midst of feeling unmotivated, think about what you need to do. Think about the tasks that you can perform to get yourself closer to your goals. And literally right after this video, show up to one of those tasks. That's gonna start to turn the tide for you. Now look, if you clicked on this video and you're not actually feeling that unmotivated right now, start to get it in your mind right now because those days are coming. Say the next time I'm feeling unmotivated, you'll know what to do. Say I'm gonna conquer that by just showing up to my task. And look, you might find that once you do show up, you actually turn it around immediately and start to crush it. This happens to the gym all the time. Don't feel like going to get the workout in. And then you get there, you get a set in, you get a second set in, and all of a sudden you start to feel good. You've got the endorphins flowing, and then you end up crushing it anyway. And that's obviously the best case scenario, but I don't go in expecting that. If you just show up to the task, day after day, the motivation will eventually come back, or at least the unmotivated feeling will subside. Because a lot of days you don't have like a crazy amount of motivation, but this is really a video for the days that you're feeling extremely unmotivated. That's the time when showing up is gonna be your best friend. So commit to yourself, commit it to me, say, Logan, next time I'm not feeling motivated, I'm gonna at least show up. I will continue to take my own advice as well, at this channel, you know I'm gonna be extremely transparent and tell you when I'm slacking with the peasant mindset is getting me down also, but the key is what do you do next? So always remember that. I hope you got value out of this video. If you did, drop a like. Please join the family, subscribe to the channel, and remember to always put the work in. And from there, leave it in the hands of the one true king. Stay kingly.